it it changes this percentage this is referring to the quality of the video so 100 percent would be the highest quality possible it would be just like if you put it into your dvd player that's the way i like my movies i want them the best quality so i hit no compression you guys can mess around with this get it however you want fool around with the qualities and view the movies and see what what you guys like um, if you really like compressing your videos as much as possible you guys may want to use DVD shrink right away instead of using the my movies collection management to rip the DVDs because my collection management is going to pretty much do the no compression option it's going to rip the entire DVD in the best quality to your hard drive so there's other videos that go more into depth on DVD shrink if you guys really like this program and you want to learn how to compress your DVDs and all that kind of different stuff you can look that up but I'm just gonna select no compression and I'm gonna hit back up alright it may say that the DVD is too big and whatever just hit yes You'll wait for a second and another window will pop up. Alright, now this is the um, this is the part where you're going to tell it which folder to save on, under. Just like you did for the My Movies collection, you're going to hit Browse and you're going to find your DVD folders. So I'm doing Monsters Incorporated right now. find it so it's right here just click it one time and hit OK again this it's pretty important that you save it to the correct folder so make sure you do this step um, you want to make sure that the select backup target is hard disk folder and this create video TS and audio TS subfolders is checked again other videos will go in into more depth about these different options but this is all you really need to know so just go ahead and click OK and it'll begin ripping the movie to your hard drive so this program is doing pretty much the same thing that my movies collection manager is doing it's just pulling the information off of the DVD and putting it onto your hard drive so your can computer can read it without the DVD in the drive. So again, depending on the specs of your computer, this can take quite a while or or not much time at all. Just let it do its thing. It'll show you up here what percentage um, it is completed and the estimated time remaining. So just go ahead and let let that rip and I will come back when it's just about done. Alright, I'm back and this is just finishing up. A lot of times um DVD shrink will actually will actually um copy it to your hard drive quicker. Um, this could be because you're compressing it and leaving out different parts of the movie, whereas my movies is taking the whole thing in the best quality. So, again, you guys may prefer just to use DVD shrink and completely skip the uh, previous steps with my movies. So, once DVD shrink has finished, it'll say backup complete. All you need to do is hit OK and you can close DVD shrink now. Um, go ahead and eject the uh, DVD from the DVD drive. Now if you go into Windows Media Center right now, the movie's not going to be there. Um, you can use DVD shrink to get it onto your hard drive, but you're still going to need to use My Movies to, to basically tell Windows Media Center that it's there. So again, open My Movies. All right, and you can see this bar is telling you all the movies that are displayed in Windows Media Center. So we just did um, what movie would do? Monsters Incorporated. 
it's not in here so it's not going to be in windows media center the way that you get movies into this little sidebar is you're going to hit add titles a window is going to pop up and it's going to ask you where you want to get them from click on import folders then click on browse now you're going to go to wherever your DVDs folder is saved whether it's an external or internal hard drive you're going to find that DVDs folder and you're gonna click it one time you don't want to go into the DVDs folder where all the different DVDs are saved just click that DVDs folder one time and hit select folder All right. then make sure everything else looks like this actually it's clicked on movies folder um, and then go ahead and click import now this is going to scan that DVD folder and everything in it to see if there's any DVDs in there that aren't on here and it will show you the results so as you can see it found monsters incorporated all you need to do is click OK if you scroll to the bottom you will see that the DVD is in here and it'll still do everything it can to find actors, the rating, and all the other information on the movie. So you can see right here, it says 100% complete. So my movies does just as good of a job as finding for finding information on DVDs that you rip to your hard drive using DVD shrink as it does if you were actually use this program. So there's not really any downside to using DVD shrink. I normally use this program first because I like all the features on my DVD to be on Windows Media Center and I don't care too much about space because um, external hard drives are, are getting pretty inexpensive and I think, it's, I think it's worth it to have all the information. So you can go again into Windows Media Center once, it's, once the movie shows up in the movie collection manager click on the my movies tab and you will see that it is right here so here are the two different DVDs that we ripped to the hard drive um, Mission Impossible 3 using the ripping process from my movies collection and Monsters Inc. using DVD shrink I showed you guys that Mission Impossible work and now we'll look at Monsters Inc. So you can see it still found the DVD description, the cast and crew, all this other stuff. So we can go ahead and click play. And it's just showing this image because I took off this part of the DVD. So you can still go into the root menu. And the movie will play. This movie has an extremely long intro, so I'm not gonna worry about that. But I assure you guys that you can play the whole thing alright so there you go um, using using the um, I'm sorry my movies collection and passkey together normally gets at least 80 percent of the movies and DVD shrink will work with pretty much anyone that doesn't work um, I've done about 50 or so movies now I've only run into one DVD that I can't get onto my hard drive so if you guys run into that problem and you desperately want that particular DVD on your hard drive what I would suggest is look around for programs that are similar to DVD shrink such as DVD decryptor one of them may be able to get the movie onto your hard drive so I hope that these programs work for most of you guys um, I hands down my favorite 
DVD collection that I've been able to get on to my hard drive. Um, if you guys are wanting to get them onto your iPod and iPads, I'll put up another video on how to do that. So go ahead and look for that video if you're interested in learning that process. But I hope this works for you guys and you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.